Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. It's definitely a bit of a struggle to get out in the morning, but I'm here with Mama. Say hi, Mama, please. Hi. Hi. Today I really dressed up after ages, and I'm actually wearing this Zara top that I bought a couple of vlogs ago. I quite like it. It's a little bit of an adjustment, but otherwise it's nice. And I put on some makeup, and I'm extra proud of myself because I actually put on sunscreen today. It's definitely a hard habit to start. When I applied it on my face, I was a little bit aghast because. Um, I looked a bit like a ghost, <laughs> uh, but it is one of the better sunscreens out there. And I was like, sun protection is important. This will help me in the long run. So I waited, and it somewhat settled, I guess. <laughs> I've also styled my hair for the first time since uh, I had it cut, and I am really loving this hairstyle more every single day. Although I'm sad that I can't use my scrunchies and tie a normal ponytail, but otherwise, really loving the short hair makeover. We are heading out for lunch. We're going to Bandra to a newly opened restaurant, and it is one of my absolute favorite cuisines, uh, which is Asian cuisine specifically. Like they have Japanese, but it's not only a Japanese restaurant. Uh, they are doing, I think, a little bit of Thai, a little bit of Vietnamese, all of that. So that's where we'll be dining today. Then we might roam a little bit on Hill Road, and then I think we are heading home. Did I miss anything, Mama? No, nothing. <laughs> The first starter we had was crab meat omelette, which is supposed to be a Singapore street food. It was really, really tasty. The gravy on top was a bit spicy, but oh my god, I enjoyed it. I am still uh, finishing off my share, and now we got some sushi. I didn't think I would have sushi here because there were so many other options, but then I really wanted to try this one because this is maki, which means sushi roll and it's got pork belly inside and i've never really seen that in sushi restaurants as an option so i had to check it out delicious things on the menu and if I had to recommend one thing I think the Singapore crab meat omelette was a really yummy appetizer and something that uh, you can share also 
but there were a lot of great things on the menu. We also had crab in the main course. Now the dish that we picked out was supposed to be a whole crab, but we did not want to fiddle around with a whole crab. So he customized it for us by just making it meat directly and was really, really nice. So after that, I was just talking to mum and I was telling her that I was interested in some jewelry. And if you guys know, there's a certain area in Bandra around the Waterfield Road, Turner Road area that has a lot of these uh, jewellery shops there like literally entire streets lined with just jewellery shops and I had basically gone on I think the Forever Mark website and I ended up liking some things from one of their latest collection called the Tribute Collection and I liked the pieces because they were sort of uh, simple and minimal uh, while you guys know in India we are such big buyers of jewellery and everyone um, has a lot and it's a big part of most desi weddings as well all of it is so maximalist and excessive and i've never been into that i did a jewelry collection video last year you guys can watch it if you'd like and most of the pieces that i like are much more simple much more small minimal and things that i could perhaps wear just on an everyday basis so I thought I'll treat myself to one of these later because um, they were fairly affordable for gold and diamond jewellery. They were in the price range of around 20 to 60,000 so I could surely afford to get one piece. But when I talked to my mum about it, she took me to the store. I liked a piece that was a little bit out of the budget I had in mind and she bought it for me. <laughs> Thank you so much Baba. Welcome. Uh, it was very spontaneous and now she is joking that it is my next birthday gift, right? Correct. When's my next birthday, mum? Next April. Next April. April 2020. But this, yeah. This birthday gift was your trip to Vietnam. Yeah, that's true. For this birthday, she just took me to Vietnam. We went to the family holiday and that was my gift. <laughs> All the pieces in the collection uh, are available in three metal colors. So you can either get white gold, traditional yellow gold or rose gold. And the one that I ended up liking was in rose gold and it's just a really cute piece that again I could just wear every day but it does make a statement in a way that I like. So I'm back home now, changed into my house clothes and that Zara top I wore, I didn't mention that I would get it altered because it hung a little bit low. We did get it altered and I thought it would be fine but after wearing it out today, let's just say I definitely think we need to pull it a little bit higher but that's okay. Now let me show you this little precious thing of mine, not sure how well you guys can see it. I bought it to a size where it would kind of comfortably uh, fit my middle finger and it's really pretty. And the price for this ring was mentioned on the website so I had some idea of how much it would cost but let me just say that the costs on the website are completely different and a lot less than the costs in store but overall I think it's a uh, cute and pretty ring it's very me and uh, definitely going to be wearing this in the future now on a more regular basis the next little unboxing i have is uh, these beautiful new things from my glam this is the my glam lit collection ex anam chashwawala anam is a friend and uh, basically she had collaborated with my glam on a line of nail polishes i think that was like last season or so i really like how this collection is presented because inside each box like this you actually get a duo of two colors which i think is very useful and practical for real life uh, just because I've realized that I own so many liquid lipsticks and even the ones that I really love and use on a regular basis I don't end up finishing them and more often than not they'll go bad before you finish them so if you actually buy one of these I think they're quite affordably priced and you get two colors and they're both mini sizes so this is a very ingenious concept for sure so many years ago, and I documented all of this on vlogs, I wanted to try this American um, confectionery or I guess they eat it for breakfast there but it's really sugary. So it's called a pop tart, it's made by Kellogg's and you don't really get it in India unless you buy it in imported stores where it costs a lot of money. 
So I had seen a pop tart because of this internet meme known as Nya Cat. Nya Cat was so so big when I was in college. And every time I say Nya Cat, that tune gets stuck in my head. So I wanted to try pop tarts, and everyone was like, they taste best toasted. And I realized that we didn't have a toaster. We had. Hundred other kitchen appliances. We have a separate microwave, separate oven, all sorts of grills, a bamboo steamer, but we didn't have a toaster. So I bought this one from Oster, and this toaster served me very well. I'm not like your plain toast kind of person. I don't really like toast with butter or jam. If you put an egg on it, now I might be convinced. But on the whole, toast is not my favorite thing to eat for breakfast. But both of my parents like it, and so they have used this toaster. Almost every day that we've been home, which makes me very happy, because I buy so much of random stuff that just lies at the corner. So if something's getting used on a daily basis, of course that makes me feel validated. Well, finally this toaster has stopped working properly. It still turns on, but it doesn't really work as intended. So I just purchased this new toaster, and you might be wondering what happened to this packet. Well, my cats happened, specifically Thelma. But anyway. Since I vlogged when I started using the previous toaster, I thought this was an occasion to show in a vlog again because these vlogs are pretty pointless on the whole. My new toaster costed a little bit more than I had paid for the previous one, but it is still something on the affordable side. This was available in three colors, but I definitely was attracted to the mint green. Look at it; it's so pretty. Look at this dark green accent. And it's kind of nice and small, so it won't take up much counter space. But this will probably be inaugurated at tomorrow's breakfast. This is where I leave you guys for now. I'm gonna be having some samosa. I'm gonna be having some chai. I'm gonna be trying to get some work done. But I will probably see you guys again at dinner time. Now that we have a new toaster, I guess we can finally throw out the old one. Let's throw out the old toaster. Oh my god! I'm pony, pony boo, toot toot. The thing they say about cats and boxes—it's so true. It's hundred and ten percent true. Our cats are obsessed with boxes and baskets and all of that good stuff. The features of the toaster are so interesting. But what's in the box? <laughs> It's so little. We had plans to cook dinner today. We had the menu all set out, but then we kind of did the sensible thing, and we're just having a really simple meal, which basically consists of leftovers from lunch, because we did try to order as less as possible during lunch, and we asked them for smaller portions, but still we couldn't really finish off our mains, and we absolutely hate wasting food. It's just something we'll never ever do. So we asked them for a little bit of a doggy bag. And yeah, I'm just having the Vietnamese rice now for dinner, and I'm rewatching Spotlight on Netflix. It's a really good movie. I've seen it before. Um, I could say it's one of my favorites. It's just a really interesting watch that, like, such a tight film, such good acting, makes you super angry, but would highly recommend. And now I'm gonna say good night to you guys, and I'll see you all <laughs> next time. Bye.